from Spain originally. I did my PhD in Finland. I finished last year in Turku. Um, it was a PhD together with Spain on artificial intelligence. This was about the semantic and fuzzy logic models for uh, recognizing human activities, so in ambient assisted living. Ideally, to help the elderly or people with special needs, um, we can set reminders if we know an elderly person that uh, she puts pajamas and slippers and uh, it's after taking the evening she's going to bed, but we might remind of the pills that she's forgetting or the open, which is awkward. Um, so my thesis was about ambient assisted living with Kenneth. Right now, the stage where I am is uh, I'm about to start my business development experience. And in fact, on Friday I'm flying to San Francisco. I will start in uh, Stitch Fix. It's a completely different topic, but still I will do user modeling and uh, personalization for recommending style, and clothing, fashion industry works really well in California where people are too busy to go shopping physically. Um, despite uh, something curious is that despite machines taking over the world, uh, humans are still proving to be useful. So we need to use uh, human expert knowledge in order to integrate it into machine learning and deep learning, computer vision. So uh, my work is always in between knowledge-driven, common-sense, uh, interpretable models to the machine learning, and I will be uh, working there for the next five months. Uh, so thanks to EIT Digital, I'm really grateful that I came inside, and uh, I feel really lucky that all the opportunities it has opened to me, because uh, I lost the fear to, to start new ventures in, I don't know, in Spain, I think we share the same things with Italy, France, Spain, uh, Portugal. We are just told when we are, uh, since we are uh, small, when you grow up, what do you want to be? Uh, uh, you can be civil servant, you can get a, post, a permanent position, and that's all. We are not taught that you can start your own business or you can think of something that you would dream of or start your own thing. You just on security and do something forever. Those things don't exist anymore. So thanks to the idea, I did open my mind and show me that we should not be afraid to fail. We just need to try. It's about time. People just complain, there is no jobs. There is, start your own. I don't have money. But you have time. Time is money. If you are unemployed, you have money. If you, you have time. If you have time, you will have money. So this is something I think I agree with Gilfrey. We, we don't need to make it actually compulsory in every first year of PhD. I think we need to make it much earlier in the high school. It's a compulsory course, like a basic business model, a crash MBA, like we did. Um, so I would like to help with this. I would like other people to be as lucky as I feel. And I think it's not that hard with the MOOCs infrastructure. We have it there. It's just uh, everyone starting or own in our own country. Uh, so I have some ideas I'm working on on the free time. I don't have so much time since I started my mobility, but I would like to recruit master students or software developers to help me with this. And I really like your idea, Julia, because after my PhD, I also want to, I pivoted my idea to towards uh, activity recognition. I think Kinect is not very um, cheap or, by award, but uh, I believe in wearable cameras which have much more power in order to give us much more precision uh, in recognizing activities. But of course, privacy is an issue, people don't want to give privacy. I myself am willing to give privacy. I recorded two months of data wearing a camera because I believe we can get a lot of it. We can detect biases when we are drinking too much coffee, when we are drinking too much, when we are smoking too much, when we are nail beating, anything. But still, that's not enough. So what I'm shifting now, I believe blind people are the ones that can benefit the most out of this technology. So I would want to start a pilot, uh, getting data from blind people in order to translate images to uh, voice. So we can 
orientate when there is obstacle around or where are the places you want to go. Um, if you want to collaborate, I will be happy to get more data. You can see my preliminary data set is called Ego Shots. Um, another call we are applying to, it was within the RISE uh, Horizon 2020. Um, it's uh, something really fun, but it's also useful. So I, I like dancing, and I think uh, we have not been able to explore flamenco, but uh, people like it. And it's not only fun, because we would like to have a virtual tutor uh, extending the work done with Kinect for rehabilitation or remote uh, monitoring in order to learn dancing or self-dance as from at home. So the idea is that this is not only fun, but it's also helpful, for instance, for Parkinson's disease uh, patients. My uncle has uh, musicotherapy every week, and dancing is one of the exercises to keep in shape. So this is another project that we will, I will appreciate that for collaboration. So, um, last night we were talking about unicorns, what will be next? Something that scales, that something that has sharing economy, something that can grow really, really fast. So I have some other ideas that if you can help with uh, software development or collaboration. Uh, so one idea, I, I really feel connected. I really like to work on technology that helps people directly. So one idea is like a time-based market for refugees where I could offer in one hour where he can learn to make paella and I could learn for chloric Syrian dance. I don't know, something where they don't have to pay but we could all learn it. And it could be really simple, it could be an easy unicorn as, well, as well as another easy parking for everyone, like really scalable. So if you have, if you want to talk, we, we can talk later. So, uh, thank you. Okay, so we have uh, some more speakers. Uh, let's see what comes. So the one who should still speak could please raise your hands. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah. So I don't know the 